Damn, that nigga dead. Hi world, my name is World Class Lifestyle. And I'm here to... Shit, fuck. I'm, gonna get on the okay. I'm here today to show you how to clean out a fish tank. First of all, let me introduce you to my fish. Come on. Now I won't lie, his tank is dirty as shit, but that's why we are cleaning it. He's kinda shy. Look at him. Ew. It smells like Corona. The first step you want to take in cleaning out a fish tank is removing the lid. Step number two is to take your middle finger on your right hand, dip it inside of the water, and then test the temperature. We don't want the motherfucker burning or getting frozen. I'm scared that my fish has some type of virus, so I'm going to take a plastic glove here and stick it inside of the water and test out the temperature. Oh, 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 shit, oh, shit, oh, shit, you guys. He's a feisty little feller. Kind of feels kind of good. Whew. Now, you guys, one thing that I do want you to know is this tie, it isn't real. I don't know how to tie a tie. Look, it's a fucking strap on. And this watch is fake as hell. I only wore this short sleeve shirt just so I can show you my buzz down rolly. Look at him, look at him. He's so feisty. Like, what are, what the f <sighs> Okay. I've come with some gifts. A cup. A shit scooper. And a lot of rocks. Shit. Finally, I found it. Next step, you need a bucket. Next step, remove all large items out of the fish tank. Don't worry, I'm not going to let you guys fall. I'm going to record me sticking my hand in here, taking out his best friend. See, I almost fucked up. I need my glove on first. Get him out of here. What does that say? Gloria Glowfish. Shit don't glow. One thing that you should know, don't ever get tricked by these ads online. I seen that this thing said it glows in the dark. I paid $50 for it. It doesn't fucking glow at all. But that's just me. I knew my mom was right when she told me I should have stayed in college. Next step. Take the bucket with the items that you may have in your fish tank and go and put some hot water in here so that it, it cleans this item. While Mr. Glowfish is down there soaking, you want to put your fish, in my case slime, you want to put him in a very good condition something like this will be perfect for your fish but I want slime to have a good come up story so I'm gonna put him in this white cup another pro tip is to make sure you have a fabric under your fish tank because what happens if you have a leak in your fish tank then the fabric will clear that problem right up for you next step fill this cup up with this water you do not do not fill it up with any new water. He needs to be in his fucking room temperature water. So you're gonna just dip that right in there. Make sure you get a lot of it. You want your fish to fill at home. Yeah, that's good. Then next step, you want to taste the water. Just taste it just a little bit, okay? Nothing bad will hurt. Now, as you see, I have his pissy water here. Now, you're going to take this cup right here and then scoop him up in here. Your fish may not be able to breathe for a cool three seconds, but that's depending on you. You, right there, looking into this camera. You have to take this cup and dump his ass right in here as fast as possible so he doesn't die. In there. Get in there. I got him. Next step, hurry the fuck up before he dies. Now, in just a few seconds, I'm getting ready to dive the fuck in. Do you guys remember when we did that dip check with the middle finger? Well, guess what? That also bonded you with your fish, so you know what type of water he needs. I can't breathe right now because everything is taking away. Hold on. I decided to wear the mask like this so I don't fucking die in the process and then my fish dies. Shit. 
I forgot to tell you guys that you need to have another bin. This is my mom's shit. Don't tell her. Shh. You are going to take your clean rocks, dump them shits in here like this. Next step, when you have approximately 3,479 tiny rocks inside of this water, you want to make sure you check for babies. In order to check for babies, what you need to do is take these two fingers, stick it into the middle, approximately the middle. I know this is the middle because I passed math class in college. Don't judge me. Then you want to swindle your two fingers around like this for seven seconds. I do nine seconds just to make sure. Take it out. If you don't feel any stinging sensation when you take it out the water, no babies. But slime doesn't get pussy, so I knew there wasn't babies in there anyways. Ew, what is that? Gotta eat it. Mm. I can touch this water. I've already bonded with my fish. After bonding with your fish, he can't give you any diseases. So don't worry about that. Lift some of the rocks up. Jump them shit. Take some rocks. Jump them shit. Jump that shit. Dump that shit. Dump that shit. The next step, when you get 5,979 rocks inside of this tiny container, yes, you want to stop digging for rocks no matter if they're dirty or clean. Not because you're lazy, but you just created a fucking connection with your fish. Have some respect. You didn't stick this finger in there for no reason. This water stays in here. It looks dirty, but it will get all cleared up after a week. I promise. The next thing you want to do is add the water. Oh shit, I have my bucket of water here. I'm going to dump this shit in there. Go very slowly because you don't want any leaks. Something that I obviously didn't forget to tell you guys um, is you see this white shit that's around the borders? You probably can't see it, but since I'm so close to it, I can. You want to clean that shit off with your mom's favorite washcloth, you know? I mean, you won't get in trouble because you're trying to protect your fish. And what this is, is just fungus growing. It's growing fungus. So clean that shit right off. And you may be asking, why your mom's favorite washcloth? Mainly because she's cared for you so many years. Why can't you care for your fish? Now, if you felt I disrespected my mom with using her favorite washcloth, well, guess what? I'm not disrespecting here. My mom told me, don't fill that shit all the way up here. She said, fill it about halfway. So I'm going to fill it up about 75% of the way, not halfway, because, you know, I still respect my mom at the end of the day. Next step, adding the rocks. I mean, it doesn't matter where you just put the shits. So all you got to do is just dump that shit in there like that. I will bathe in this water. Just stick your hand in here and then, you know, move the, move the rocks around. Get all the way to the bottom and move it around. Now that shit looks about evened out. Shit, 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 shit. Now this next step is my favorite step. You want to add the new decorations you got for your fish. Slime check. Did he die yet? Damn, that nigga dead. Slime, wake your bitch ass up. All right, you guys, as you can see, Slime is sleeping right now. All right, you guys, I think it's time to put Slime back in his environment. Look at him. He's happy. He's happy. Stick the full fucking cup in there and stop being a bitch. Like that. Let him. Let him. I almost forgot the finishing touch. You take your shit, Scooper. You get all of the access shit that's up top. You get all that out. You don't want that in there. Slime is in his castle taking a nap right now. Me and him, we would just love to say thank you for watching this video. If you made it this far, I appreciate you. If not, fuck you. I also want to say, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure you hit that like button. Comment down below if I, if I, helped you clean your fish tank out. Share all of my videos and don't be stingy. And please, please, please make sure you hit that subscribe button plus the bell so that you get notified every single time I drop a video. Thanks for watching.